Hello everybody. So you join me tonight on a lovely, peaceful summer's evening here in southern Russia. We've uh, had a very chilled day because it's been very hot, about 33 degrees today I think. And uh, the pool equipment is uh, is busy at the moment. Open this up. So our computer is busy keeping all the balance right. So as you can see, we've got 31.3 degrees in the pool. pH is 7.4, and our chlorine level is 638. So. Uh, just a little bit below where it should be but at the moment the pH is being balanced so once that's balanced and come down a bit then the chlorine generator which is this thing here electrolysis will kick back in and that will start converting the salt as we put a salt water pool uh, back into chlorine so contrary to popular belief um, a salt water pool still does have chlorine um, but it's generated uh, through electrolysis by converting the salt rather than by adding chlorine. So the main difference is it is much, much, much nicer on your skin. Um, and you don't stink of chlorine when you get out. Your skin's all nice and soft. Um, it's not irritating to your eyes at all. So you can swim underwater with your eyes open quite happily. Uh, and it's just a much nicer way. Um, Apparently it requires less maintenance, I guess because the computer is balancing your pool all the time. Um, sorry, I'm sort of <coughs> gardening and filming at the same time. Um, so yeah, uh, that's why we went for a salt water pool. Um, and got to say, super ha happy with it. Huge shout out and thank you to Mikhail from Paradise Pools. Oh, it's froggy time, look. Look, Rios, a fellow hopper. Come here. There he is. Look. So, cat's pretty good. He just watches them. That said, now I'm filming, he'll probably eat it. No, he's pretty good. But we have got a new addition to the family. So that's really the reason for the video. Obviously our family is quite extended with lots of frogs running around and uh, praying mantis and cats. We've now got three cats. We seem to have gained one. Um, but this is our new family member. This is Derek the Diver. As you can see, he's beavering away, cleaning the pool. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed. Ever so cheap, well, in the grand scheme of things, he was about a hundred pounds. Um, and he's only been in there five minutes, and he's he's cleaned up eighty percent of the debris. Um, yeah, I've I've got to say, I'm really impressed with it. Really impressed with it. So, best way, yeah. Safari so goody. So he's beavering away. Uh, runs for about an hour and a half, apparently. He, he's going to be very bored in about 20 minutes. Because the pool will be mint. <laughs> so yeah, so there we go. That is Derek the Diver. Diver Derek. We were going to call him Scuba Steve. Um, but we've got a Derek inside the house. And this is obviously his cousin. The underwater version so Derek the diver seemed more fitting yes I know I'm English I'm barking mad um, but yeah beautiful evening um, had a couple of steaks today on the barbie this evening which is nice loads and loads of crap to deal with around here but yeah so manana as I say to the wife why do today what I can put off for six months uh, the wife is out spraying, not in the cat sense clearly, but uh, spraying everything. And this idiot is 
whining. I don't know why. This is another cat. Hey, Rosie, what's the matter with you? What are you meowing at? Well, oh, the end of the world, I'm sure. Yeah, so sun's going down. We shall go up on the terrace in a little while and uh, have a glass of wine. That seems to be a bit random. Hmm. I think that's cat related. <coughs> she does like to uh, pick up anything that's green and run around with it. Bless her. So lots more green stuff. Don't ask me what it is, I have no clue. Sometimes the wife says dig a hole here and I go, yeah, sure. And as long as it ain't five foot nine, I don't worry. We bought some more green stuff today. Yeah, look, yeah, cat. See, that's where it should be. The cat decided it needed to be over by the garage. Um, yeah, so that was some green stuff that we bought today. Again, no idea what it is. The last two times we've been near green stuff, the wife said, I'm not buying anything, I'm just looking. Yeah, right. So, that is our... Well, I call it a well. It's our borehole down to the water table. It's where our water comes from. We have got mains water, but not a great deal of pressure at the moment, so uh, we're still on the well. But uh, we'll be switching it over to mains very soon. And, um, yeah, everything seems to have survived, apart from poor old conifer up the end here. But I think that's because it's in sand and I think the combination of sand and clay has just waterlogged it and I think the roots are rotted. So I think that's died. I will get around to moving that pile of rubbish soon. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll see a reoccurring theme there. Yeah, anyhow, as I say, manana. So, been watering the garden. Need to carry on doing that tonight. A few more spots. Look at Derek. He's turbocharged. He's loving life, he is. Really cool, that. Love that. It's a bloke's toy, that is. Brilliant. Uh, so, yeah. There's, um... Little evening update, shall we say, from their uh, home. And uh, hope you'll join me in welcoming Derek the Diver to the family. Oh, mm, something else I better show you. Some people have made some really unpleasant comments about this, to be fair. Like, Oi, fatty, when are you going to finish those stairs? You know, stuff like that, really mean. Uncalled for. But we're one step closer, look. There is now a platform. Cut to size, shaped, framed. And, uh, yeah, you can no longer walk up the stairs and fall through the hole to your death. I don't know, where's the fun in that? Apparently it's more suitable for guests to have something there so they don't fall through. <sighs> I don't know. Very fussy, these women. What oh, a beautiful evening. There's a doggy barking in the background somewhere. It's in the distance. Anyhow, thanks for watching. My um, evening update. This little monster follows me everywhere. But I've raised him by hand since he was two weeks old. He was fed every two hours like a baby on a syringe and he literally fitted in the size, in the palm of my hand. He was tiny. So to him, 
I'm mummy. Dear, oh dear. All of life. Anyhow, as I say, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.